love hearing about here on Collectors is collectors whose passions have taken them off the beaten track. We hear about it all the time. I mean, we've had pegs from India. Yeah, um, we've had uh, Polish toilet paper. Polish toilet paper. Ukrainian bits of plastic. Everything, including these. Our bagpipe collection actually is really probably fairly unique in Australia at least. I don't know of anybody who has anything like this number of bagpipes. Uh, but it's been quite a valuable resource because most of our better instruments have been measured by makers around Australia and, and copies made. So it's a sort of a, um, a bank, if you like, a bank of ideas of how to build good instruments. It's not a collection for the sake of collecting. I met Rob, you know, really just in the folk scene lots of times. I just knew who he was and he was playing in lots of different bands. And it was really through a mutual friend that um, we got to know each other more. And um, he was playing Macedonian music and I'd never heard of Macedonia. After that, I, that was it. I just had to go and travel and find a bad part to play and I was hooked. I was always looking for something interesting in music, looking for the most weird, distant, unusual things. I wasn't sure why, but... Uh, when I heard some the, the Macedonian bagpipe played, uh, that really stru struck a chord. There are some other special bagpipes like this, the Karbagada, which comes from the south of Bulgaria, and that's one of the deepest sounding bagpipes that I know of. And it's such a such an evocative sound; it just takes me straight back to the mountains where where they're played. Very beautiful sound. And then uh, another favourite bagpipe is from Brittany in France. Uh, it's called a binu, and it's a very little, little tiny bagpipe. It's an octave higher than the Scottish pipe. The bagpipes are basically a, an instrument of shepherds. They spend a lot of time up on the plateaus in the summer with their, with their sheep and goats, and there's nothing much to do except watch the animals eat grass. So you've got a lot of time to practice. So you've got a lot of very good musicians playing bagpipes. But uh, for Really, the main instrument for weddings and other celebrations is the zurna. This is the, played by, mainly by professional musicians, uh, very high standards, particularly the roma. And uh, it's the most important instrument in the world. Beautiful thing. Have a listen to this. Every village has their own unique style or type of instrument, dances, songs, little variations. So each village varies a bit from the next. And you don't have to go very far till things have changed quite a lot. So there are an incredible number of different instruments and different ways of playing them. Music in the Balkans is certainly uh, much more important as part of your cultural identity. So really, the music you play and listen to says a lot about who you are. You can see that in the way that People expect a baby not to talk or to walk, but to clap in time to music. That's the really big deal, when the baby can clap to music. Mm -hmm.